Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Moshi, and welcome to my first Monster Hunter Stories 2 video. I know I haven't uploaded anything in almost a year or so, not sure if I'll be able to keep this consistently, but all I know is that I've really been enjoying Stories 2, and I really want to start making some videos on it. So if you guys have anything that you want to see, like builds, uh, guides, and tips for anything, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. But for today, we are going to be discussing the Water Palamute. So here's the water palamute that I have set up. As you can see, it's not 100% finished. I'm missing one evasion instinct gene and two inflict rate up, well actually no, three inflict rate up extra larges. I couldn't find any really, so I just slapped a large one there for the time being. But before we discuss the build, let's discuss the water palamute itself. So water palamute is probably, I'd say tied for the best water monster in the game with Mizutsune which isn't really saying that much considering there are only five water monsters in the game. Four if you count Ludroth and Purple Ludroth as the same thing, because Purple, purple Ludroth is just a Ludroth the better. But as for the Water Palamute, as you can see it's pretty squishy, it doesn't have much health, it's decently fast like all of the other Palamutes, and it has very high crit at 10% actually. So this thing is pretty fast and it hits pretty hard just like other Palamutes. Naturally it's of the water element so it's going to be doing primarily water damage and it basically has no defenses to speak of even for water so it's not really going to be surviving that much if it takes any direct hits but that's what this build is for to keep the Palamute from getting hit in the first place. So let's go back and take a look at our Palamute's genes. So for the first gene, we have Sandshot. Sandshot comes from uh, Cephadrome. It is a light water damage dealing attack with a medium chance to inflict a blind. This is really good because blind lowers your chances of actually landing your attacks. And that coupled with some other genes that we'll be getting into a bit makes it very, very difficult to hit. Aqua Blaster is single target damage, heavy water damage, with a medium chance to lower speed, which is, again, very good because of how fast the Palamute is. Good to keep some good speed control on your side. Water Boost XL is pretty standard. You're going to be running this on any damaging water monster. Any damaging monster, you're going to be running their elements uh, extra large boost so that they can do some good damage. Uh, now these next three genes are key to making this build work, and you're probably going to be seeing this really on any Water Palamute or any Mizutsune for the most part, just because of how good they are. First is Evasion Instinct. This boosts your evasion substantially when you hit half health or lower, which one hit from anything will easily bring this Palamute to half health or lower, unless it's something like a support or a bruise or something that's probably not building too much damage but this will make it very difficult to kill once it's under half health. Dancer is very useful because not only does it increase the Palamute speed even further when they're full health, but it also gives you a good attack and defense boost. So this kind of helps them uh, take at least one hit. You are still very prone to getting one shot by some of the stronger things in the game, but Dancer will help you take hits. Now, I do not know 100% if Dancer gives that attack and defense boost 100% of the time, or only if you're at full HP. So if anyone does know that, reaffirm that in the comment section below. I've been looking all over to see if I can find information on that, but I haven't been able to find it. Uh, evasion ability, extra large. This is another standard water gene that you're going to be seeing on any water monster. This just outright gives you evasion, uh, whether or not you're at full health. Or rather, I should say, whether or not you're under half health. And this does stack with Evasion Instinct, so once you get under half health, you are very evasive. Which, again, very good for the Palamute. And the last couple of moves, we have Bewitching Bubbles. Uh, this is uh, an AoE water damage dealing attack with a chance to lower speed and accuracy. And this ac lowered accuracy and blind are two different debuffs, so those can stack. So between Sandshot and Bewitching Bubbles, you are very adept at keeping yourself and your team from taking damage because they're blinded, their accuracy is lowered, you have a ton of evasion between evasion instinct and evasion ability, so it makes you very, very hard to hit. Our last damage dealing move is Noxious Poison. This is single target damage with a high chance to inflict Noxious Poison. So as you can see, we just have a ton of debuffs in this build. A slow from Aqua Blaster, a blind and sand shot, 
um, another slow and an accuracy drop in Bewitching Bubbles, and Noxious Poison from Noxious Spit. And again, this should be an inflict rate up extra large, but I don't really have any extras that I could put on here without taking it off of something else that I'm going to be building later, so <clears throat> this is all I really have for now for the Water Palamute. But that's going to be the build for the Water Palamute. It's very fast. Uh, it does decent damage. It will be very difficult to take down, mainly because of how evasive it is. Now, granted, if you do actually end up taking a hit and you're not full HP, you probably will die. Another thing is that, interestingly enough, the Water Palamute's uh, lowest resistance is actually not Thunder, but Dragon. So, Thunder Monsties are not what's going to be threatening the Water Palamute. It's actually going to be Dragon Monsties, of which there's only a few notable ones in Stygian Zenogre, Devil Joe... Uh, opposing dragon palamutes those are really the only notable things i can think of off the top of my head that even do dragon damage um i think pink rathian I, I, if, I, if pink rathian doesn't do fire damage then it does dragon damage but i'm pretty sure it does fire damage so despite having low defenses the only things that are probably going to really be threatening it are stygian zenogre devil gel and other dragon palamutes so do keep something uh, safe for them Probably, um, I'd probably say a, a Stygian of your own to be able to tank dragon uh, attacks because of Dragon Surge. But as far as the Water Palamute goes, that is the build. If you guys have any builds for your own Water Palamutes, uh, you can leave that in the comment section below. Because there's no... I, I go by the philosophy that there's no like one specific build that you have to just run all the time. You are free to run whatever you like. Monster Destroys 2 is a game with many different monsters and many different ways to build them, so build what you want and just have fun with it. If you guys want to see any other specific builds, let me know. I do have a couple of other monsters built up right now, uh, but if they're not from what you see here, then I'll just build them up pretty quickly. It doesn't take long to get monsters built up in this game. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Definitely planning on making more Stories 2 videos in the near future. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.